So dudes, you pretty well know what this video is about with the title and the thumbnail. But uh, anyways, this happened the day before I left for the trip I just came back from. And uh, I came out here, as you can see, the glass is a lot cleaner. I actually cleaned the tank right before I left because I had a lot of algae growing on it. And uh, yeah, it looks a lot cleaner now. But anyways, uh, I came out here. And uh, a lot of times I come out here and just kind of like sit in this chair because the chair is right in between the saltwater tank and the African cichlid tank. I like come out here and just like eat something and you can like look this way and see the saltwater fish and look this way and see the African cichlid. It's pretty cool. So I come out here and sit in this chair. So that's what I was doing. It was it was later in the day and uh, I came out here and I was just out here about two hours before that. Maybe even maybe even shorter time than that. But anyways, I came out here to sit down and I look and you know. Wherever you see one clownfish, the other one is right there by them or really close to them. So, I saw this clownfish and the Royal Grama, but I didn't see the other clownfish. And so I started looking around in the tank, and I, I didn't see him. And I knew he didn't jump out, because there's no way they can actually jump out. There's no openings at the top. And uh, so I knew he could only be in one, one spot, and that was back there in the filter. So, what happens is the water, there's an outtake or an intake actually over there. You can see it. And uh, there's one at the bottom, one over there. Well, right over there, I'm gonna end up putting some type of like little barricade or some type of like little fence. So if any other fish try to do it, they won't be able to jump over again. And but uh, that's what happened. He actually jumped over into the, uh, the little filter part back there. Now he would have still been in the water, like just just fine back there. There's three different compartments. There's one compartment that it goes spills over into, and then it spills over into one part, one compartment where it's the filter pad. And that's where he had landed at. He was sitting right on top of the filter pad, just to the side of the flow. And um, he was out of the water and long enough, obviously, for him to dry out. And he was dead. And it happened within that short little hour and a half or so that I wasn't out here. And because, uh, like I said, just before the hour or so before I just came out here, he was just he was just fun. You know, everything was cool. And I came out here and yeah, I saw that and it sucked, man. Um, because, you know, I've had these clownfish for close to four months now. Uh, and they've done great. They've done a lot of growing. Their colors have changed. And, uh, you know, they've been really well with each other. You know, they, they've stayed right by each other's side. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really sad. Now, the good part about it is that the clownfish acts totally fine. The other one, he's acting totally fine. So that, that is good and all. But, you know, like I say, it just it really sucks that, you know, because... I had really planned on these these guys, you know, I got them as babies, and I was hoping that one of them would turn into a male, and they would eventually have babies in here, and uh, I really wanted to keep these guys long term, you know, but um, unfortunately, I won't be doing that, so, you know, it happens, um, I might not seem as, like, you know, sad or down uh, as you would think I'd be, just because this has been about a week since this has happened now, and also, it's just, it's something that's happened before, and it's something that you know, it, it happens, you know, it's something that just happens as part of, like, keeping fish and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it really does suck, you know, and, I mean, if you look, it sucks about it even more, is that I try to take so much care of my fish, you know, and then when something like that happens, it just, it really, it just really hurts, you know. You know, I try to do everything uh, in my power to make sure that my fish are happy and healthy, and that's why... You know, you guys don't see a lot of the stuff that happens off of camera. You know, a lot of the, the maintenance and stuff that happens kind of behind the scenes, you know. I do a lot of the maintenance stuff on Saturdays, like Saturday mornings. And uh, that way, later in the day, I can film and stuff. And, you know, all the tanks look great. But uh, you'll never see any of my tanks looking really bad or in the fish looking, uh, you know, really, really bad or beat up or anything. Because I try to, like, jump on the problem, like, right when I see it, you know, and try to not let it progress any anymore. But obviously, this is something that... Um, I couldn't really stop, you know, he just, you know, and one thing I noticed that the clownfish had been swimming the back wall a lot uh, before it happened, uh, you know, a few days up to it, and, um, and I mean, he just eventually jumped out. The other guy has not tried to, at least, I don't think he has, you know, he's been out here swimming and acting totally fine, acting normal, which is good and all, but, you know, I don't want to sort of, like, replace the clownfish, you know, because obviously... Uh, it was it was really fun having these guys together and them being the same type of clownfish, the same size and all that, and um, looking almost identical. You could tell them apart, but they looked almost identical because uh, the size and all that. But anyways, um, I am going to have to get a new one in here 
very soon, like within the next few weeks before this guy you know, gets too territorial, because if I wait too long to get another clownfish in here, he's going to be very territori territorial to the next clownfish that I put in here. So I cannot wait that long. I'm probably not going to wait no longer than about two weeks um, to go in and not really replace the guy, but in a way, yeah, because I have to, because I want another clownfish in here. Um, obviously, it has to be, you know, another Ocellaris for them to get along, but uh, I think I'm leaning towards maybe like an Orange Storm or a Mocha Storm, something like that. I've always thought they were really cool, and I almost got a pair of those guys at first before I got the Frostbite Clownfish. Um, but, yeah, I mean, these guys, you know, they, they've done great and all, and like I said, it just really sucks that it just had to happen to him, you know, that he just jumped out. So I, I am going to put some type of little barrier up there between the I'm going to show it to you guys here in a second what I'm talking about and uh, just in case you know I can prevent that from happening again so as you can see uh, he's doing great right there the rare grama's looking great the cleaner shrimp you know things looking great and all uh, but here, here's here's what happened so as you can see back here this is the overflow chamber right here the first one got the heater right there so obviously if he stayed right here he would have been just fine but he actually went over that into this compartment and was sitting right there on the little on the little sponge right there so he was just out of the flow and uh, obviously he was dead by the time I could get to him but um anyways yeah that's basically what happened so I'm gonna end up putting he obviously had to jump that part right there and I mean these things are designed for this not to happen but anyways what I'm gonna end up doing is putting some type of fence right there so that does not happen again because obviously I, I would not want that to happen again but yeah, like I said, they're doing great, and uh, pretty soon I am going to have to go and get another clownfish for this because I don't want to have just one clownfish in here. I want to have, you know, two of the guys, and I've kind of, you know, I really at first had the thought of maybe having two different types in here, uh, two different types of, like, designer clownfish, and um, that's obviously what I'm going to end up doing. I don't really want to get another frostbite. I don't want to try to, like, replace that guy, or, you know. I want, I want to do something different, so we are going to get some type of other Ocellaris, probably designer clownfish for this, and, um, you know, we'll just go from there. Hopefully the guy is not too territorial with him. I'm going to try to get one probably the same size as him, if not maybe a little bit bigger, and, um, you know, I've got to do it soon. I can't wait too long, though, but, uh, yeah, that guy is, um, they're doing great, though. All the fish and the shrimp, they're all still doing great and very happy and healthy. And if you're wondering why I'm making this like a separate video and I didn't just like include this in another video, that's because I didn't want to draw out another video and also the main reason just because I didn't want to like, you know, kill the vibe of another video. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I didn't want to like let this interfere with another video or nothing like that. But we're going to get back to the regular videos and all that. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what happened to the clownfish. And, uh, you know, of course, I wasn't going to hide it from you guys or nothing like that. Really, I couldn't hide it from you if I even tried because, I mean, you guys, of course, you guys, even if I got a new clownfish and try to get another frostbite, you guys could tell the difference. I mean, I'm not, I would never try to hide anything from you guys anyways. I'm just saying, like, you know, it'd just be dumb for me to try to hide that uh, from you guys. So, uh, I just wanted to kind of, you know, sit down and talk about what kind of happened and uh, what I'm going to do, um, you know, going from here. But uh, anyways, yep, it really sucks and, um... Like I said, we are going to end up getting another clownfish. It will be within the next few weeks or so. Uh, and, uh, yeah, man, we'll uh, move on from there. That is pretty much it for now, though. Uh, like I said, we're going to get back on our normal, you know, video track and all that by next video. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I'm going to be doing probably a tank giveaway at 1,000 subs. And uh, we're definitely getting closer and closer to it. So I just want to say thank you guys for all of you who have subscribed in the last few months and within the last year or so. And, um, yeah, we're going to keep on going. And uh, hopefully we hit 1,000 subs pretty soon. And like I said, I will be doing a tank giveaway uh, pretty much as soon as I hit it. That's pretty much it for now, though. And with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.